So now we're going to fetch all of the source software um, and put it into that new partition. And to do that, we're going to create this sources directory. So that sources directory is on the LFS partition, so it'll be available when we go into the LFS system. And then we're going to make the directory writable and sticky, and it explains what sticky is there. It's just one of these special permissions that Linux has got. And you can see it's been indicated to by that one there and the T there. So to get the packages, rather than having to go down, go around and delete, uh, sorry, delete, download individual packages, they've created a um, file with all the locations and the checksums for all the packages. Uh, and they use it actually as a steering file to download the packages using wget. Um, Sorry, this has got the locations and they've got a separate MD5 sum file to double check the signatures are correct. So let's download both of these with wget. Let's go into the, uh, let's use LFS. So cd $LFS forward slash sources. And you can see that's moved us into the correct location, which should be blank. Let's now fetch these two files. This is the steering file, which has the, so right click and copy link location, link address. That has the locations of all of the um, packages. Uh, you'll notice that's coming from my server. Uh, when you're on the web page, it will actually have the correct uh, address because obviously you won't be able to download from my server. Let's see if this has been updated yet. No, it still hasn't. So that will look a little bit different. It will say Linux from scratch to org, etc. But um, the file will be the same. And I'll also download the MD file sum as well. So there are those two files. So have a quick look at them. So you can see there's the URLs for all of the packages and the other one has got all the signatures for each of the packages. And nicely they've given us a command here to download those packages uh, using that steering file and it actually tells them to put them into LFS sources. So when this script is run we should see all the packages in this directory. So let's put that in, start the download, and when that's finished, I'll come back and run the check to make sure they've all downloaded correctly.
Right, so that has finished downloading, just under half a gigabyte. So what I'm going to do now is run these commands here to check the signatures. OK, make sure nothing's been tampered with or corrupted. It's been downloaded. So we've got one failure. Right, that could be because it's not. Uh, actually on the server at the moment. Uh, NFS. Seven. Right, I don't know why that's not coming up with the same signature yet. Maybe it's been, no, it shouldn't have been updated. The date is still old. Uh, let's see if I can, oops, what's happened there? Three one. Oh, I see. Let me see if we can get it off of the server and see what. See what that is. Uh, normally, this wouldn't happen. It's probably because I've got the book off the server, the Linux from scratch server early. So something may not tie up correctly. FS boot scripts. Right, I thought those boot scripts were there. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong address. Right, let's see what, if they're the same. Yes, they are. So, that means there's something wrong with that um, steering file, unfortunately. Um, so let me get there's another list for the system D let me fetch that one Oh, not the WKit list. It's the... Oh, there is only one MD5 sums for the looks of it. Right. So, yeah, it looks like there's a problem there with the MD5 sums file. So hopefully that'll be updated later on. Um, I'll have to check that when I come to use the 
uh, LFS boot scripts to see if it's been updated or the um, MD5 sum file has been updated. So you can see that the signature starts with 6C33, but in here it's a completely different number. It starts 740, even though it's got the same date, 20230728. So that needs to be sorted out. I have to make a note of that to remember to double check that. Um, and like I say, hopefully when, when the website goes online that it'll all have been resolved. Um, but we don't need that till, till, until towards the end, so that's not a problem at the moment. At least I've got a note of it to double check that when we come to use it. So apart from that, uh, I'll just rerun the command again. Oh, right, okay, it was several commands, wasn't it? And just verify, yeah, it's just that one that's failed. So apart from that, we can change the ownership of everything to be owned by the root and then move on. So some information there about all the packages Again, I think, yeah, see, that's got the different MD5 sum there. Let's just one more time try this location. I think it's the same as what I've already used. In fact, it should be the same as what the steering file is using. Yep, it is. So clearly there's something wrong. Uh, did I delete that? Yeah. So, uh, clearly, there's some uh, error there where they've put the wrong version of that particular file, and or the, or the MD5 sum is incorrect. Uh, like I said, I hope that will be fixed by the time this video goes live. Patches. These should have come down as well as part of the download, so let's look at that. Yes, there they are, there's eight patches, quite a few this time. 